Lung Cancer Foundation of America really is a foundation that started with a passion. And the critical element for LCFA is to convert that passion into implementable um, support of high quality investigators that move the field forward. It was started by a group of very dedicated individuals, some of whom had personal experience uh, with the disease or you know, friends or relatives. Um, and I think they did a very smart thing. They pulled in um, uh, thoracic oncologists uh, from all stripes from around the United States and frankly around the world um, uh, to help in the uh, development of their, um, their goal, which was to eradicate and eliminate uh, lung cancer. They very wisely uh, took their limited resources and I think did something that a lot of advocacy groups have not done as well, in my view, and that is they've given out their funds uh, in a targeted way using uh, what we refer to as the peer review process. That is, experts in the field um, have vetted uh, the proposals to use their money uh, in a scientifically rigorous fashion and then the, and, and the best projects have won out if you will, and receive those dollars. So even if the dollar amounts relative to, say, the federal budget don't look that large, that targeting of that money, I think, will have a profound impact and will move the field uh, forward uh, in a much more powerful way than, say, those same dollars might have been used if they just spread them out willy-nilly amongst uh, a lot of different uh, individuals. Um, and Lung Cancer Foundation of America is um, one group that is um, incredibly dedicated to moving this research forward. Um, they have a big uh, bent on lung cancer research and, and understanding the biology of lung cancer and uh, getting funds for uh, researchers who will move this information forward. You know, if you're diagnosed with cancer, uh, obviously the first thought is that you have cancer and, and you know what's going on and what should I do about it. Um, many patients who are not familiar with the healthcare system or even with cancer at all, you know, don't know where to turn. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff on the internet that may or may not be reliable. So I think where the Lung Cancer Foundation of America can be a significant help is being a resource for patients um, basically at any time throughout the course of their treatment, uh, but also especially, um, you know, when they're first diagnosed to help guide them what they should do, what they, sh you know, what are the uh, standard treatments, what um, potential uh, trials are available for those patients um, and really be a resource for patients uh, and caregivers uh, to help them throughout the uh, treatment course. You know, in all candor, I think it's uh, been a terrific uh, opportunity for them to um, have a profound impact on the field, not simply raising the voices but actually making things happen. The Lung Cancer Foundation of America also uh, helps support research in lung cancer. Uh, you may know that lung cancer is the leading cause of cancer-related death in the United States, but unfortunately the funding for how to cure lung cancer uh, pales in comparison to a lot of the other um, cancers out there. Uh, and so really what that means is not very much money is spent on trying to figure out how uh, and why these cancers grow and then how can we effectively target those treatments. I think that if curing cancer was easy, we would have done it already. Um, I think trying to find ways to care for people and to change the natural history of the diseases that they suffer from requires innovation, translation, and integration. So it's not an easy process. It requires science. It requires organizations like the Lung Cancer Foundation of America. It requires committed people from around the world. It requires the federal government, industry, and it requires partnerships and absent each one of those components, it makes it more difficult. So no, it's not easy, but no one said it was supposed to be.